He listened. The wind playing upon the edifice produced a booming tune, like the note of some gigantic one-stringed harp. No other sound came from it, and lifting his hand and advancing a step or two, Claire felt the vertical surface of the structure. It seemed to be a solid stone without joint or moulding. Carrying his fingers onward, he found that what he'd come into contact with was a colossal rectangular pillar. By stretching out his left hand, he could feel a similar one adjoining. At an indefinite height overhead, something made the black sky blacker, which had the semblance of a vast architrave uniting the pillars horizontally. It carefully entered beneath and between. The surfaces echoed their soft rustle, but they seemed to be still out of doors. The place was roofless. Tess drew her breath fearfully and Angel, perplexed, said, What can it be? Feeling sideways, they encountered another tower-like pillar, square and uncompromising as the first. Beyond this, another and another. The place was all doors and pillars, some connected above by continuous architraves. Very temple of the winds, he said.